Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. We are going to be talking about our next readathon, which is the October readathon. We're mixing it up a little bit this year, but it is my favorite time of year. So you know I had to do a really fun theme, and I wanted it to be Halloween-y without being explicitly Halloween, and I think I came up with the perfect theme. I'm not going to lie. So if you haven't seen it already, the theme is mad about books and as you can see it's kind of a mad scientist type of theme which I feel like fits the season so well. So we're taking inspiration from sci-fi of course but also movies like Nightmare Before Christmas and Frankenweenie so like that whole vibe and I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I hope you guys think the same thing. So all of our themes this year are kind of exploring a different corner of the book verse. So for this readathon, we have an old mansion in a graveyard, of course, because it's Halloween. And we have a secret laboratory in our old mansion. And we are mad scientists. And so we really want to take over the world. And we're going to do that with a potion and a philosopher's stone and maybe some zombies or something. I don't know. You guys get to decide how you're going to take over the world. So the readathon itself will be taking place throughout all of October. And everything is going to be happening in our readathon event group. And don't worry, of course, everything is going to be linked down below. So you can check everything out down there as well. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys the stickers and I'm going to show you guys a bunch of new stuff that I made for this readathon. And we're just going to have a bunch of fun. So this readathon is going to be taking place throughout all of October and everything is going to be happening in the readathon event group. And all of the stickers are already in the shop. So don't worry, I will have everything linked down below so you can go check it out. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys all of the stickers, the new stuff that I made for the readathon, and I'm also going to be going over um, all of the reading prompts and things like that at the end. So first off, I wanted to show you guys the weekly kit. And this is perfect for planning the either the first week of the readathon or the last week of the readathon. In the event group, I'm going to have a thread so you can share your planner and it's going to be a lot of fun to see how everybody uses the different weekly kits. We do have this one, which I'm going to show you. We also have some journaling options. So if you're more of a bullet journaler, you can use that one. This one is more geared toward more like structured planners. And this just happens to be the format that I'm using lately. So that's why I printed it out for this video. So we have the first page, which has all of the full boxes. And this kind of tells our story. So we have our mansion, we have our chemistry set, which I am obsessed with. We have our philosopher's stone, we have a cauldron. We just have this fun quote because I felt like it fit perfectly for this theme which is books because reality is overrated. We have our chalkboard of all of our plans along with this electricity what word am I looking for harvester? I, I'm not really sure what they're called but that you, you get what I mean. Um, we have our mad scientist outfit here which I am obsessed with because I love the lab coat so much. We have our book stack here with a bunch of different titles which I feel like you may see some like little easter eggs in there if you know one of the easter eggs for our book stack. Let me know in the comments. The titles are The Secrets of Immortality, The Ins and Outs of Reanimation, The 21st Century Cure, Chemistry, and Time Travel Theories in case we need to use some time travel while we are taking over the world. And then finally our last box is kind of a throwback reference to what is our typical October readathon which is the Read in Peace readathon. So obviously 
cute. That one is really more geared toward like graveyards and things like that. So of course this one is set in a graveyard, but I thought I'd have a box with a zombie hand coming out of the grave as kind of just more of a reference. We have our second page, which has all of our functional stuff and deco and whatnot. We have labels and checklist flags, and we have some washi strips and sidebar type of stickers. So like I said, this is our weekly kit. We also have an add-on, which is meant to be kind of like for a sidebar, but of course you could use it wherever you want your planner. And it has some labels with the various prompts on it. We have some reading sprint stickers, and we just have some like little border decoration type stickers that you can add so that you can really plan out your week for the readathon. But of course, because this readathon is going all month long, you may want to use this kit in the first week or the last week, but of course you can stretch it and use it the entire month if you want. Um, and then you could also put this on its own page and then just kind of like move the page throughout the month if you want. Um, so we have some other items as well. We have have some vinyl stickers that can actually go in your planner like you may use with the weekly kit or you could actually put it on a Kindle case or a cup or whatever. They are weatherproof so you can use them pretty much wherever. We have this one that says books that make you go hmm and then we have this one that says here comes the good part and that leads me into our bookmark because I felt like that would be absolutely perfect for a bookmark to have here comes the good part because I'm just super punny sometimes. We also have a bunch of functional stickers. So these are just some kind of like reading themed functional stickers that you may want to use throughout the month or throughout the week, whatever you want to do. We have these that are started reading. We have finished reading. We have these little booksy character stickers. We have these little um, date numbers which are perfect for our date covers in the weekly kit. We have these little book stacks. And then we have some ebooks and e-readers and these little star rating stickers. And that leads us right into the actual readathon stickers. So like I said, throughout the month in the event group, we're going to be posting different threads for you to share your planner. So we're going to have one for the weekly kits for sure. We'll probably have one for the actual readathon stickers. I'm planning on scheduling some reading sprints and just some like discussion um, posts as well. So keep an eye out for all of that. But that leads me into the actual readathon stickers, which I actually already have in my planner. So first off, I made this little kind of like intro page to the readathon. But then we also have this sticker, which you can peel the backing off of, obviously. And so you could also use that as an intro page if you want. And then these two journal cards actually will come like this and you'll get the set of four. And then this is what I call a badge sticker. So for all of our events this year, we have a badge sticker that you can use to kind of keep track of all of the reading events that you participate in. So these are all the ones that we have released so far this year. Um, and then of course we have the Mad About Books one that you can add to the page if you want. So we have our intro page. Like I said, I also just used some of our washi that's in the shop as well on this intro page. And then the first page that we have is what I've been calling a media menu. So this is a sticker that you can peel the backing off of or it will kind of come like this so you can also keep it separate as well. Um, but this is kind of meant to be kind of a brainstorming page. So you can kind of come up with a bunch of stuff that you may want to read, watch, listen to, whatever during the readathon because I really love for the readathons to kind of be my theme for that time period. So I'll try to watch some movies that I think kind of fit the theme or I'll listen to a certain playlist on Spotify or a certain podcast um, or whatever. Just things like that. So 
this is kind of a page so that you can kind of keep track of that. We have some stuff you can listen to, we have some TV shows, books you can read, and movies that you could watch. And then we have the main readathon stickers, which once again will come like this so that you can keep it separate or you can peel the backing off and put it in your planner like I have it. And so we start off with a potion that we are making and all of the ingredients are not quite ready. And so to get each ingredient, you have to read a book that kind of corresponds with that ingredient. So on this one, I've kind of started to lay the ingredients onto the page, but they will come like this. And this will actually be a set of three stickers. So we have this one, we have this sheet of stickers, and then the last sheet will kind of be a stats tracker sheet. So like I said, the idea is that you read a book and for each book we have a corresponding ingredient and then you lay it over the spot on this page and when you're done you'll have a completed potion. So this is probably the perfect time to go over the different um, prompts for this readathon. So the first one is a group read or a free space and we are actually going to be voting on the group read in the event group starting the week of September 6th. So make sure you are in the group so you can go vote for the group read. But of course, if you don't end up wanting to read the group read, like I said, it can be a free space. The next one is a big switch and it corresponds with the unicorn hair ingredient. And so this is just meant to be a book that has a plot twist in it. So like I said, we are kind of inspired by science fiction for this readathon, but if you don't like science fiction, you don't have to read science fiction. For all of our readathons, I try to pick prompts that don't limit you to just one genre. So you can have the theme, it can be fun, and you can go all out and read a bunch of sci-fi, or you can read um, different genres depending on what you want to read. Or you can read like a fantasy that kind of has some sci-fi elements or a romance that is also a sci-fi. So you can see how you can kind of like mess around with it. Anyway, like I said, the first prompt was the unicorn hair and it is the big switch. The next one is the purple beaker. So we have it here and it is turn on the power. So this is a book where the character has no powers and they somehow acquire some kind of power throughout the course of the novel. The next one is the light blue beaker here, and it is questionable choices. So somebody in the book needs to make a choice that you are like, wait, really? Are you, are you sure you want to do that? Um, you don't have to get this prompt for all of our prompts. Actually, you don't have to get it approved or anything. You don't have to ask me if like, this is a questionable choice. Uh, just pick one that you like. The next one is the dark blue beaker here. And it is technology because a lot of sci-fi has to deal with technology. This doesn't mean once again, that you have to read sci-fi. Um, um, just that technology is a really big part. Maybe it's like focused on social media in some way. Maybe it is some kind of technology. Maybe it's a complete lack of technology. You can kind of interpret that however you want. The next one is this little plant here, and it is a new frontier. So obviously we kind of consider space the new frontier, but it doesn't have to be space. It can be the characters literally exploring like the Wild West. If you want to read a historical fiction, it could be exploring just a new country or it could be exploring a different dimension. It can be a bunch of different things. The next one is the Philosopher's Stone and it is a philosophy. So this doesn't mean you have to read a really dense philosophy book or anything like that. It just means that the characters kind of follow a certain philosophy philosophy, which if you're reading a book, a character probably follows a certain philosophy. I personally keep thinking of ones that deal with the Philosopher's Stone, like um, The Alchemist or 
something like that. So it could also be something that deals with the Philosopher's Stone. Um, just kind of up to you. The next one is the Green Antidote Bottle, and it is a fix-it book. So basically, for this one, something has gone horribly wrong, and the characters are trying to fix it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple and it's self-explanatory there. And I forgot to mention the group read or free space is the book on the ingredient list, by the way. So yeah, you can kind of use this dashboard to kind of record all of your choices and keep track of the number of books you read and your favorite book and all that kind of stuff. So the last thing I wanted to show you is the media dashboard. So this is the second new dashboard that I made. The first one is the media menu. And for this readathon, I really wanted to embrace the fact that our book club is actually called the Creating Co. Media and Book Club because I really love story no matter where it's coming from. I love great movies. I love great TV shows. I love great books. I love it all. And I like to share that love with all of you guys. So I thought it would be fun to kind of have a movie and TV show version for our readathon. So you have the same prompts, but instead of reading a book, you watch either a movie or a TV show or you can count just like an episode of a new TV show because obviously if a TV show has like eight seasons, you may not want to watch the whole thing in the month of October but it's up to you. I'm not gonna judge. Um, so yeah, we have the same prompts. So we have a free space because we're not gonna have a group movie. We may in the future, if that's something you guys would be interested in. We have Big Switch, Turn on the Power, Questionable Choices, Technology, New Frontier, Philosophy, and Antidote. So you can watch, like I said, either a movie or TV show or whatever for those. So that is pretty much it for our Mad About books readathon. I am so excited about it. Like I said before, I just feel like the theme is a lot of fun. I'm excited to have books, movies, and TV shows kind of being part of the game. And just to remind you guys, it is going to be taking place throughout all of October, so you definitely have plenty of time to get all of your reads in. Oh, I did want to also mention for all of our readathons, you can read one book per prompt, or if one book fits like four prompts, you can read, you can pick, you can count that book for each of those four prompts, however you want to do it, however it fits your schedule. So we're going to have all month long to read eight different prompts. Of course, you can watch some movies and stuff as well. We're going to have some threads throughout the month in the event group, so I hope you will come by and chat with us. But of course, you can also just do the readathon on your own as well. Everything will be linked in the description box below. We're going to have the link to the shop page where everything is already listed in the shop and there is some stuff I didn't get to show you here because otherwise the video would be really long so make sure you go check it out. There's also going to be a blog post where all of this info is so you don't have to rewatch this entire video if you just need to find like a quick little piece of information and of course the event group and all of my social media will also be linked down below. So I hope you guys will join us for this readathon. Comment down below, let me know if you are going to join in the fun and let me know a book or a movie that you are going to read or watch. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you soon with another one. Bye!